guys, so today I'm here with what I think is an exciting video. They're some of my favorite videos to watch and I don't know why, but today I'm going to be doing a book unhaul. I did mention that I'd be doing this in my BEA book haul, but school and life got super busy. That's why there was no video last week. So I'm making up for it with a 32 book unhaul. And then next week I'm going to be doing my most anticipated summer releases, which there's a lot. It has to be two parts. I'm excited. But yes, because there are so many new releases coming out and I got so many books from BEA and just my reading taste in general has changed. I am more towards like thrillers than I am like cheesy, dramatic, YA contemporaries. Um, so I just read differently and I think that's fair to say a lot of us that's changed since we first started booktube. So a lot of the books here are series or books that I have read and I just don't think I'm going to reread but if I mention your favorite book I'm sorry. Also sorry that I won't be shipping any of these out to you. They are going to charity and I think that's all of the obligatory disclaimers but yes. I love spring cleaning and cleansing and feeling light so I've got so much more shelf room now too so let's get right into it. They're gonna be in no particular order just as I grab them off my side table. So, When We Collided by Emery Lord, read the synopsis. I do like mental illness books, but I'm afraid this one might be a little bit triggering for me. I was here by Gail Foreman, same reason for When We Collided, um, and I did read like the first chapter or so and I just didn't like the tone and the narrator. Fan Art by Sarah Tregay. This one I read about four chapters or like 20 pages of and I just didn't like it. I felt disconnected, the writing felt forced, and then I went on to Goodreads and read some reviews and it didn't sound like it got any better, so figured it wasn't worth it. Dead House by Don Kritikic. I read this one and thought it was alright. It's told in like novels and interviews and newspapers and it just wasn't what I wanted. I think I gave it like two stars and I'm never gonna reread it. The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand and Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. Both of these are again mental illness, young adult contemporaries and I tried to read both of them, couldn't get into either of them and I've been holding on to them both for so long that I just don't think it's gonna happen. We'll Never Be Apart by Mako Jean, read this, think I give it two or maybe even three stars, never gonna reread it. Thoughtless by S.C. Stevens, this is a new adult or even maybe adult but it's definitely erotic and I read the back synopsis and read the first couple pages, have no interest. I picked this up when I was in Fredericton which was like three years ago so it's not gonna happen and it's huge. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I have no interest. All is Forgotten, Nothing is Lost by Leanne Samantha Chang. I picked this up because it was like three for ten bargain books at chapters and there were two that I wanted and needed a third so this is the one that I picked up. Masterwork by Jonathan Kieslev. This was sent to me unsolicited and it's like a guide for writers, musicians, and all artists on turning from amateurs into masters. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. I went back and forth on this one for so long. So I'm not a huge Holly Black fan as many of you would know and I'm alright about Cassandra Clare. I've read like five or six of the like Mortal Instruments Infernal Devices books but I'm not into like magic or magical realism as much and I don't know, just because I've been sitting on it for so long and it's another series that I no. The Altered series by Jennifer Rush. I have three books and I think it's only a three book series with some novellas mixed in but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I have read the first two books, I never read this one. So I pulled this one out of my TBR jar in May and I never got to it because I wanted to reread the first two books because I didn't remember enough of what happened. So in May I reread Altered and didn't like it as much as I did the first time. The first time I gave this four stars and this one five stars and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't connect. I thought it was cheesy. I thought it was just average and I understand why my younger self enjoyed it so much but now that I'm 22 it just thought it was no. So I'm going to pass these along which is unfortunate because 
Yes, they did change the spines and the covers, but I still thought they were pretty. Another series that I have grown out of, the program series by Suzanne Young. This is one that I just decided to get rid of today as of filming this video. And it still hurts my heart because I have been reading these books for so long. I never did read this fifth one and there is a sixth one and it doesn't say that that's going to be the last one. So I never got to this one because I wanted to reread the other books. I don't like that with series and I just don't think I ever would and this drives me crazy that it doesn't match up on my shelves. It drives me bonkers. But like I said, I hold this series so close to my heart. And I'm afraid that if I reread it with all of like the psychology schooling experience that I have and how much my life has changed with my mental illness, I'm afraid I would find this series more problematic than I did the first time, which I know is a lot of people's issue with it. And I just didn't get that the first time I read it. I really connected and related and really enjoyed it. So I want to keep that mindset when I think of these books, but... I can't hold them onto my shelf knowing I'm not going to reread them or continue with the series especially. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I don't think I'm ever going to read this series. I keep saying I'm going to and I keep saying I'm going to try. I haven't even started the TV show yet so I think I'm just going to accept the fact that I don't do high fantasy books and watch the show. All Out, edited by Sandra Mitchell. This is a young adult anthology that I read maybe in March, and I didn't enjoy it too much. I think my ratings averaged out like a two and a half, so I rounded up to a three, and I'm never gonna reread it. I don't really do historical fiction, apparently. Two books that I got from BEA that I read and I'm not going to keep, We Rise, We Resist, We Raise Our Voices, edited by Wade Hudson and Cheryl Willis Hudson, as well as Open Earth by Shell Got Stuck. Sarah Merck, Ava Cabrera, and Claudia Aguirre. So this one is just a graphic novel and then this one is the collection of stories. And I read them, I enjoyed them, I gave this one four stars and this one three stars, but I'm not going to keep them. So I'd rather give them the chance to somebody else to read them. Three books that I read and I'm not going to read again. We Have a Murderous Web by Anne Rothman Hicks and Ken Hicks. This one had been sent to me to review and I think I gave it four stars. I did enjoy it. The Death by Cody Kaplinger. Read this in like 2012 and again another one I think if I reread it I would find it more prob problematic than I did the first time because I didn't really enjoy it when I read it the first time. And Grace and Style, The Art of Pretending You Have It by Grace Helbig. So I did read this. I thought it was okay and I'm keeping her other one I don't remember what that one is called, but I enjoyed her first book much more than I enjoyed this one. So, going to keep that one. I've got the Warm Body series by Isaac Marion. So, Warm Bodies, The New Hunger, and The Burning World. I feel really bad giving this one because it was a finished copy that was sent to me from Simon & Schuster. But, I've read Warm Bodies twice, and then I've read The New Hunger, and I didn't love it as much as I remembered that I don't feel like I care where the story is going to continue and where it's going to go. I did try to read this a couple times and I just couldn't get into it, so I'm passing it off. The last three are books that I haven't read, um, but this one I did DNF, and that is Room by Emma Donahue. Why does that keep getting stuck? Um, this one I DNF'd at about 80 pages, and I tried reading it, I tried listening to the audiobook and I just couldn't connect. I couldn't get into it. I tried. So I think instead I'm gonna watch the movie. I don't know if it was the perspective of the five-year-old boy or what was doing it, but I just couldn't get into it. The Evening Spider by Emily Arsenault. Again, another one I picked up on Bargain at Chapters and no interest. And then finally one I got from Book Outlet, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Again, I don't really do fantasy, so I'd heard so many people talking about this book and how much they loved it. But I think now it's like a trilogy or something, and I'm not looking to start any more series right now, let alone one that is fantasy and is going to take me a long time to get into. So yes, those are the 32 books that I pulled off of my bookshelf this time around. This might be the biggest unhaul I've done like in one sitting. It might be the most I've gotten rid of at once, but I'm not sure. The next one I do will probably be around the end of the year because I have a goal of getting my own TBR under 100, 
as of this moment filming right now it's back to 196 because of VEA I came home with like 25 books that I wanted to read so this helps a little bit but I still got a ways to go thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon bye